Hi, this is a companion video to my other videos that I created showing you how to use the IAC bus to send MIDI messages from Logic into MainStage. And in this video, I'll show you how to create those different PCs and CCs within Logic um, at various points so you can then send them off to MainStage. Okay, so this is the same example project that I used uh, in my other videos and within the first track here I designated that track as, uh, as program changes and then track number two I just put that down there as CC's. Now you don't have to do that I, I just did it just to make it a little more logical for, for myself but there's there's nothing wrong with you mixing PC's and CC's and all kinds of MIDI events within one track. As I say personally I just found it a little bit easier for, for me to follow and you can do anything anything that you like. So now there are a couple of different ways of doing this so I'll just first of all step you through um, the first method that makes it uh, makes it a little bit easier certainly from a higher level point of view if you kinda you know don't exactly know where you're gonna place things uh, you can always kinda fine, fine tune it later so we're gonna start off again just by selecting a MIDI track and then I'll go up here and select my pencil tool and then all you do is determine which part in this track that you want the new MIDI event to occur at and then just click that and it'll create a new uh, MIDI event as you can see right here. So now the next thing that you want to do is then go in and define exactly which program change you want. Right now all it's done is created a MIDI event within track one. You haven't really told it what you actually want yet. So the way you do that is go into the MIDI event window and that is uh, navigated through the top right uh, corner here. Just click on lists and then there's four tabs here. Signature tempo marker event. This is the one you want is the MIDI event window. So the next thing is you want to you want to select the new event that you've just created and which I did right here and then you want to define exactly which kind of MIDI event you want so in this case I'm going to use a program change so all I do is I make sure that this create box is checked off and then I click program change and it will create a new event and it's created it at 17111 which is the very beginning of this new MIDI event that I that I created and it's a program change on MIDI channel 1 and the program change is 26 if you want to go in and change that just click that that can be anything you like and just specify what that is right there now if you then want to fine tune exactly where that that um, that program change occurs at and let me just bring this uh, bring this up a little bit so you can see it uh, right now as you can see it uh, it automatically put in uh, uh, program change 36 right there and it's at 17111 if we wanted to move that all we need to do is just double click the position here and just say whatever position you actually want that uh, MIDI event to occur on. So it's now moved from 17.1.1.1 to 17.1.4.1 and you can see that this number 36 has moved it accordingly. Okay so now if you wanted to then add in another event um, now you don't have to use the pencil tool uh, we've got this area selected and all I'm going to do here is create another program change and let's say that I wanted that at 17 uh, one, five one. again this could be anything I tell you what we'll make it a little bit uh, a little bit clearer okay and that's push them over that's fine so right now uh, at 172111 it's going to send uh, PC 36 at 17221 it'll send PC 36 again now let me just change that because this could be a co completely different uh, program change no problem and let's change it to 64 and you can see it's 64 right there 
So if you wanted to move that to totally different position, not a problem. You just define exactly where you want uh, 64 to go. So you can see that 36 is here and 64 is there. So 17211 is where PC 36 will execute and 17321 is where PC uh, 64 will will go and you can just continue to add MIDI events down here uh, not a problem at all put them where, wherever you like you have to map them within a uh, within an actual MIDI event that you've already plotted here so if there's a if there's a large area that you want to plot different P PCs over uh, not a problem then just uh, just widen widen that uh, MIDI event and you can go in and have a larger working area to do that within. Okay so when it comes to CC, CCs are very similar again we'll uh, select my CC track here and then just use my pencil tool once more and I'll create a new event just around 33 here and once again um, we'll just take a quick look at this and now I'm just gonna then go back into my MIDI event window and this time I'm going to create a CC and that's a controller change so just again make sure that this create button is highlighted and then click controller and at 33111 which is at the start of this MIDI event that I've already plotted there's a very faint white line uh, and I'll actually just move that over a little bit so you can see it a little clearer okay and there it is right there okay so at 332111 is defaulted to a volume uh, CC event with a value of 50. You can go in and, and by the way this is MIDI channel 1 and once more you can just go in and select that uh, and make an entire different uh, CC event or a different value. No no problem. The values are as you know from 0 to 1, 127. So that allowed you to express what that CC is and control volume or uh, uh, or attack or you know whatever you want. And then if I wanted to insert another CC within that, uh, all I do again is I just click controller, it'll add in another event, and uh, let's just go in and change this once more. So let's leave that at 2, and we'll put this at 5. Okay, so now, and at uh, 33125 it'll execute uh, CC7 with a value 127 and then at 332111 uh, there'll be this second event within there and for each controller event it'll map in a line there. Now it's not quite as clear as the PCs where they actually plot numbers within it um, so you, you just have to make reference to those uh, those lines right there that's basically how, how you would do it and um, and you can create those events really anywhere that you want absolutely no problem at all okay so that's the way that you create those uh, if there's any questions or comments uh, please comment away I'm always happy to answer whatever I can all the best till next time